This is a solar grid type system of 2 kilowatt capacity, 2 kilowatt peak. Okay, we have 1 kilowatt here and 1 kilowatt on the, on, on the next level. This is called a grid type system. That is this system which is producing DC is converted to uh, AC and this is interfaced with the power utility grid. How this works is the DC of the solar panel is converted to AC and first the loads of the consumer is being serviced by the solar power which is generated by the solar panels. If the consumer loads increases the, the production of the production from the panels, the deficient energy is being taken by the power utility grid. In the event that solar panels produces more energy than what is required by the consumer loads, the excess energy is exported to the utility grid. And utility grid in Bangalore is paying 9.56 rupees a unit per, for every unit which is exported to the power utility grid. And let's see how this system works. So as I told you earlier, there's one kilowatt here and one kilowatt on the top. There are eight panels of 250 watt peak capacity. They are connected in series. You can see the wiring here, how the wiring is being, is being done. And all, the, all the eight are connected in series and taken into the inverter, which is inside the house. The DC energy produced from the solar panel comes through this uh, DC distribution box. Okay, we here we have a DC fuse, a DC isolator, and a DC surge protection device. Okay, there's a manual switch. There's one more switch here as well. From here, it is connected into the inverter. This converts the energy from DC to AC. From the inverter. The output comes into an AC distribution box and in AC distribution box we have an AC isolator and an AC surge protection device. Okay. The output here is connected to an energy meter which records the energy produced. This plant was commissioned on the 2nd of May 2015 and so far we have been able to generate about 64 units of power. This output is further connected into the main meter box which we will see now. Output from the inverter to the energy meter is coming into this bus bar through this manual isolator switch. The connection is terminated in this bus bar and from this bus bar two outlets are taken, one goes to the consumer loads and the other goes to the bidirectional meter. The input of the bidirectional meter is the input which is coming from the power utility grid. This side is what is coming from the power utility grid and this is coming from the bus bar. The other end of the bus bar is connected to the consumer load. Here there is one isolator switch coming from the inverter to the bus bar and there is another manual isolation given which is coming from the bus bar to the consumer loads. This is called a bidirectional meter. This records both import and export of energy. As we see here, this was commissioned on the 2nd of May 2015. See, so far the consumer has imported 29.5 units of energy and exported 47.8. So, net energy has been 18.3 units of energy has been exported to the grid. So as of now, in the last 7 days, the consumer will be paid for 18.3 units of energy which he has exported to the power utility grid. Thank you.